Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Uh, our devotions are coming from Joyce Meyer's book called Trusting God Day by Day and I am a, still at Myrtle Beach at a fabulous, wonderful meet and greet last night with our friends. It was just so good to be reunited with people we haven't seen in a while and uh, it's we got more fun today so I'm really looking forward to it. Our devotions uh, are entitled uh, Self-Control is a Fruit of the Spirit and of course it is Friday, March the 3rd. Our scripture comes from the book of Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 and I hope you guys can hear me over the wonderful ocean behind me. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It's no wonder we humans want to control things. There's so much that's out of control. But unfortunately, rather than trying to control ourselves, we usually try to control our circumstances or others around us. I spent years trying to control the people in my life and my circumstances because I was afraid of being hurt or taken advantage of. But the only thing I achieved was constant frustration and anger. It took me a long time to realize that people respond very defensively when we try to control them. Everyone has a God-given right to freedom of choice, and they resent anyone who tries to take that from them. I finally realized that what I was doing was ungodly, and therefore it was never going to work. Not only would I never have peace, because of my behavior, but I was also alienating most of the people I wanted to have relationships with. God desires that we use the wonderful tools that he has supplied us with no control, with, let me reread that. He has supplied us, God wants us to use the wonderful tools he has supplied us with to control ourselves instead of trying to control people and things. He has given us His Word, His Holy Spirit, and a wide variety of good fruit that we can develop. Self-control is actually a fruit of the Spirit led life. If you have a tendency toward wanting to control the people and circumstances in your life, I want to strongly suggest that you give it up and turn your focus on to developing your self-control. Although learning to control ourselves requires patience and endurance, it is well worth it in the end. Our circumstances can have much less control over us if our response to trouble is to use self-control. Now this is something I think all of us from controlling our tempers to controlling what we put in our mouth to any area where self-control might be needed. To develop it is always going to be a good thing. Our trust in Him today is, when was the last time you tried to control someone else's behavior? Next time you're tempted to do so, turn your focus onto developing your own self-control and put your trust in God to change the other person if he wants to. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word and we need your help with this, Father. We want to emulate every quality, every fruit of the spirit that you have listed, including self-control. Give us that nudge if we're in the area of trying to control someone else's actions and lead us and show us where we need to develop self-control in our own lives. We thank you, Lord, for giving us everything that we need. Help us to see what we need to see and hear what we need to hear in Jesus' name. 
God bless you and thank you again for spending uh, a little time with me today. Please come back to my channel and check out some of the other content that I have. It's going to be a wonderful day today. God bless you. Bye-bye.